All right, welcome to another uh, episode of The Orminators, and I am Chris Orr of The Orminators, and of course, uh, as promised, I am here with a another bag review, and um, uh, this one I am talking about is the Maxpedition uh, Jumbo Versapack. Uh, these have been around for quite a few years now, and I've had this one actually for uh, almost as long as they've probably been out. Um, it was kind of my original kind of daily carry bag, the Merce or Man Bag, if you will, before they really kind of became uh, super popular, especially for the everyday carry crowd. Uh, these days, it's not unusual to see somebody with these, but uh, you know, maybe you know, six or seven years ago, it was uh, it was kind of unusual. So maybe I think of myself as sort of a trendsetter in that way. Uh, in any case, um, I have since graduated from the Versa Pack to some other larger kind of or different style bags with a little bit slight with slightly different structure, uh, where I find that it's actually easier to organize a little bit. Well, we'll talk a little bit about that. So let's talk about uh, the Versa Pack here. Um, they are going on Amazon for about 45, 50 bucks now. Um, they come in different colors, uh, black, tan, green, of course, and then there's this sort of digital camo that my ex-wife got for me uh, when, uh, when I first asked for one of these for Christmas. And uh, it was a great bag. I really like it. Um, it's got some uh, Molly style attachments on the, uh, on the outside of it here, so you can, of course, put a few uh, little things like flashlights and other things that you might want to... Uh, to connect to the outside so that you can hang things off of it uh, easily enough. Um, one of the big things that I do like about this bag, unlike some of the other bags that I've been talking about lately, is the fact that there is a uh, an external pouch, if you will, to uh, store a water bottle. That way you can uh, get easy access to your, your hydro flask or whatever sort of uh, water bottle that you want. There are hook and loop fasteners on the outside so that you can attach your different kinds of uh, uh, morale patches that you that you like. And then there's a number of external pockets on the outside here uh, that allow you to, of course, store, you know, some smaller documents here. Uh, in this upper po pocket here, I would store, like in this case, it's a tourniquet. And then on the other side here, on this pocket, uh, I used to carry like extra magazines uh, for my handgun. In this case, here we have a, uh, uh, CPR uh, 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 breathing mask so that uh, you can prevent uh, uh, any sort of um, uh, transference of any sort of contagious diseases, emergency uh, emergency blanket, and so on. There is a uh, another external pouch here with hook and loop fasteners on the inside as well, and I forgot this was in here. There is a. There we go. Maxpedition, this is a separately sold item here. Um, this is a, uh, um, like a, I don't say a, a holster, but basically it, it hooks inside there and then you can put your handgun in there in different positions, depending whether or not you're right or left-handed, so that you can uh, uh, keep your gun into that particular pocket there. Without it, it basically is just kind of another sort of document pocket, if you will, somewhere thin to keep uh, maybe your phone or something else close by, close by you. Um, it's got some nice padding on the outside here to kind of prevent any sort of uh, friction. There's a waist strap so that if you're riding a bike or what have you, you can make sure that it's not bouncing around and the bag stays where you want it to be. The back the bag itself, nice thing, has a nice quick release hook here um, or clip so that you can very easily take it off even if you don't want to sling it over the side. So again, even though I'm left-handed, I would wear it on my right like it's designed, which is fine. And I actually kind of like it this way as well, because assuming for a moment that you are in a situation where you might need to have access to your gun, of course, they're anticipating that you, as a right-hander, you'll be digging into it this way. That's fine. Um, from a, for a lefty, you kind of like bring it over a little bit, and then you can come in this way and get the gun, which is nice about the, these Velcro things. It's adjustable, so I would kind of camp the handgun in there that way so that when I reach in there, it's kind of going into the same angle that, that, the, uh, that my hand would go in there. So that's kind of a nice feature. So I'm about five foot eight inches tall, and the way this is adjusted now, it's kind of in a nice comfortable position. So this is the way I would probably carry this particular, I carried this particular piece for, for a lot of years. And this little, it's adjustable uh, from that standpoint. 
once you are done looking at the outside, then we get into the inside of it. And so it's a little quick release there. And again, there's a number of pockets here that are very useful. Kind of another quick access pocket here with a little pocket knife there, um, a little CPR card. And then I have my phone charger with a battery, lock pick set, a little snack bar, a bunch of little things here like aspirin and more carabiners and a little flashlight there uh, for, for quick access to any sort of lighting. Now, getting into the main pocket, and this is probably where um, the Maxpedition for me just didn't quite uh, fit the bill. Um, in like some of the other videos, we talked about some of the things that I do carry on a daily basis. Um, for example, I have this uh, little piece of uh, Tupperware here so that I can carry my leftovers. I don't have to have styrofoam and it comes with a little uh, fork and spoon there uh, as well as a little shopping bag. Again, so I'm not using up any additional plastic. Um, I've got some quick clots and so on. But that's, that's almost the entire thing here. And then there's another little rubber straw for drinking and then another little spork. So if you look on the inside here, that's kind of the whole thing there. Even though that this part of the, of the uh, uh, it's got this little sort of sleeve here that you can kind of tighten up or you can roll up and kind of keep, that's more for kind of reducing the amount of moisture that might get into the bag when it's like running pretty heavily. But um, it's not, it doesn't have a lot of protection from the elements unlike some of the other bags that I've, that I've done here. So it's more, again, if you're looking for something that's water resistant, um, it's fine. It'll probably keep things pretty dry for the most part, uh, but unlike some of the other ones that I've reviewed previously, where it's actually got a, a plastic or rubber lining on the inside, um, this will, you know, the fabric will allow um, uh, things to soak through. Again, as you dig a little bit deeper into the inside of the bag here, you can see um, there's a nice little mesh pocket in there so that you can uh, uh, store things and they won't move around. Um, there's another little, um, there's another little pocket there. So it's got plenty of little pockets on the inside, but you can see here from the light passing through from the outside that there's no lining on the inside to make it completely or more water resist resistant than, than some of the others. And I'm not quite sure why it's got this little additional sort of, um, uh, pickup here or this uh, extension if you will because uh, if you have done some if you put enough stuff in here to where it's actually sticking up like that even if you were to cinch it down um, you really would have a tough time getting the the uh, um, the main pocket the the main flap to close over the top of it so from a storage perspective on it from an everyday carry perspective um, I carry a lot of stuff or I can carry a lot of stuff but um, unlike the other bags that I carry, such as the Galatech um, bag that I have done reviewed, and I'll, I'll, I'll link it up above here, um, there's not been a lot of room for additional things. Now, one of the nice things even about the Galatech, even though it's not the biggest bag, it's, it barely qualifies as a backpack uh, or a sling bag, um, it does give you the ability to, uh, you know, not only carry the stuff you carry on a daily basis, but if you acquire more stuff during the course of the day, if you're out shopping or you, you pick up a few extra little items that, uh, that you want to tuck away and not have, have to carry them in your hands, they will fit in that bag. Whereas with the amount of stuff that I do carry on a daily basis, um, the Maxpedition, as nice as it is, um, doesn't have the allowance for a lot of additional things that you might want to uh, to carry along with, um, with along with your with your everyday carry. So from that standpoint, it's probably one of the reasons I actually don't use this bag for everyday carry anymore, uh, because I like to have options, if you will, from a storage perspective. So there you go. This is the Max Edition Jumbo Versapack again. It's served my purposes for a lot of years. Um, but as I, as I changed my everyday carry needs and as I added a few more things, um, I found that uh, it is a nice bag, but it doesn't quite carry enough or it doesn't have enough 
storage capacity that uh, that I would normally uh, that I would normally like to do, or at least uh, these days when I carry stuff. Um, it's still, you know, that's a lot of crap, but um, I do like the option of not only carrying all this stuff, but the ability to carry additional items that I might acquire during the day. So I like the bag. I still have the bag. Probably use the bag when I, you know, I'm not foreseeing any need to carry anything beyond my everyday carry and I'm not looking to acquire any more items. But for the most part, I do carry a slightly larger bag with a little bit more flexibility in the storage area. Uh, I've, again, used this bag for years though. It's held up very, very well. It's been through a lot of different uh, adventures, both indoors, outdoors. Um, out in the field, uh, camping and things like that. So I do know that it, uh, it holds up very well. You know, there's hardly any sort of wear on this thing at all uh, from that standpoint, despite all the, uh, all of the years of hard use. So if you're looking for something simple um, and that uh, is easy to carry uh, and fits well and um, uh, does what you need it to do, then the, the Maxpedition VersaPack or Jumbo VersaPack is, will be an option for you. Um, and um, yeah, again, you can find something like this on Amazon for uh, about 45, maybe 50 bucks uh, tops. Um, these bags were much more expensive, north of 100 bucks when, uh, when I first got this one. Uh, so the prices have come down considerably over the years. Um, I don't know, I don't know anything about the materials on them. Maybe there's newer generations with different or lighter materials. Uh, so I have no idea how those will hold up, but I do know that the original versions of this bag uh, have held up very, very well. Um, and then uh, in the future, if I were to look at uh, other Maxpedition bags, I would probably look more towards their sling style bags or even a regular backpack like the, um, like the Dragos that I've been doing reviews on as well. So thank you very much for watching this video as long as you have. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, a like, or a share. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if you want to see more content like this, let me know if there's other kinds of content that you want to see. Uh, again, I'm kind of doing stuff all over the place, and a little mix of travel, as well as uh, travel bags, uh, everyday carry sort of items. Um, as a single person now, I've got uh, you know other interests and things that I'm doing, and I'll probably be posting some of those, those videos here, either here or on my Gresham Armory uh, page, um, uh, my Gresham Armory blog, so go to www.greshamarmory.com if you want to see some of that content. Uh, those videos, because they're firearms related, I probably don't want to post them to YouTube directly, uh, so you'll have to go over to Gresham Armory to, uh, to see those videos where I do videos around uh, uh, PCC, USPSA sort of uh, uh, shooting and some of the equipment that, uh, that might be expected there. So. Go ahead and uh, wander over to the Gresham Armory page and take a look at some of those videos that I'll be posting over there. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you again for watching very much. So long, YouTube.